Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you checking out another video. My name is Titus and today I just want to talk to you real quick about patience. Um, I just finished filming a fishing trip where it was a pretty good trip and uh, <laughs> there's a bite. <laughs> that was not on purpose. But it's about to illustrate what I was going to tell you. I thought I would have a little bit more time before we got one. But uh, that didn't happen. And I'm okay with that because now, you know, you have all the more incentive to finish watching the rest of this video and see what was Titus getting ready to say that produced that bass right there. Now, you can easily say, well, Titus, you're fishing with a good lure. You're fishing with a good spot. You're, you know, you're, you're at a good season of the year where fish are biting. Um, you've had a good day already. So you know that, you know, what you're throwing is gonna be good. But where I started out, um, I'm gonna just show you real quick what I was thinking was gonna be the good spot. So I started out up there um, on uh, that kind of little point right up there where you see those trees. And I was gonna drift down and throw at those rocks, which is where I just caught the fish. But I was really hoping to drift into this dock right here that you see. Now, because I'm doing a lot of yapping of my gums right now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to uh, make the cast that I wanted to make. But what I was gonna talk about was being patient and using the wind to your advantage. So I started up there knowing this was the spot, this was the target that I wanted. And so the key, and one of the keys in fishing anyway, uh, at least one of the keys in bass fishing that I like is to target fish. Meaning there's a rock, there's a tree, there's a log. I thought that was a bite. Um, there's a dock, there's a ladder. There's something that you're aiming at where you're expecting a bass to be. And I was expecting a bass to be actually in between the rocks in this dock or right in the middle of this dock right here. And so what I was gonna do, instead of just coming straight to it, I was gonna let the wind drift me into it. So a lot of the times um, I will see people go through an area and miss fish. And oftentimes those people are on their trolling motor. And so, you know, fish feel vibrations for sure uh, through the water. And so having a trolling motor matters to some degree. I don't know how much, but I think it does. And so what I will often do is when I see there's a really good spot like this one that I wanna throw at, I will stop my trolling motor, get to a place where I know the wind is gonna naturally drift me into that area. And so that way, I believe I have less of an opportunity to spook the fish and a higher chance of actually catching them. So now in, in this scenario, I actually caught the fish before I got to the dock. It was actually on the rock uh, before the dock. But at any rate, um, in life, the same thing is true. You wanna make sure you have a target. You know, what are you trying to hit? What's the goal? What's the mission? Um, what's the success point that you're looking for? And sometimes we wanna force our way into that. Um, and I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't exert energy and force in certain situations, but sometimes it's a matter of let things happen naturally. Sometimes we wanna force it, and I found the best results happen when you just let it occur, occur organically. So right now, the wind is just drifting me straight down this bank, and I'm gonna quit fish quite a few more docks. Um, none I don't think is good as this one because it had rock uh, and a dock and you know kind of came off of a point so it just had a lot of good things all at once but some of these other docks might have good things too now the downside is because I'm doing this video and trying to give instruction you can't see what I'm casting at uh, which is docks right behind you but like right now I'm throwing to the left side of a well, I was trying to throw to the left side of a dock and the wind took it, but still, I'm gonna just pull it right off the dock and let it sink into the water and, uh, and see what happens. But anyway, I was hoping we were gonna do that, and as we were doing that, I was hoping we were gonna catch a fish, but that happened a lot faster than I thought it did. Uh, but anyway, in fishing and in life, sometimes if you're not getting bites, use the wind and the natural surroundings to your advantage and don't feel like you gotta force it to make it happen. Sometimes get off the trolling motor and, and just drift with the wind and that might give you a better opportunity to make a presentation. And even if it takes a little bit longer, you know, because you gotta wait for the wind to drift you right into that spot. Like I'm gonna flip you around and let you see this one real quick. It's gonna drift me into a really good spot. Now I say this spot is really good because there are some steps, then there's a dock and then there's some trees on the other side. So I'm gonna really try to make 
three good targets. One to the left side of the dock, one in the middle of area of the dock, and then one to the right side of the dock. And usually, if you can do those things, usually you get a bite. Now, it's not gonna be every time, but especially if you can do it naturally. Like that was a decent cast. And the other hard part of what I'm doing that you as a person fishing shouldn't do is I'm using my trolling motor some because I want you to be able to see the angle because I'm filming. If that wasn't the case, I wouldn't be using the trolling motor at all. But you can see, you can see I'm on the left side, then I'm gonna throw here in the middle, and then I'm gonna throw on the right side. And the right side has rock and trees, and that's always good too. And that's a bite. Got him. It's really awesome when it happens like that. This fish ran right into the boat. Come on, buddy. Good size, too. My goodness, that's a good size. Oof. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I threw my worm. Well, we're not gonna get a chance to get in that middle, but there you go. That's a beautiful, chunky bass. I think that thing's about two pounds. All right, so this guy's good and healthy. We're gonna go ahead and weigh him real quick for you. Even though this video is not really about weighing fish <laughs> or catching fish, it's more about the lesson of being patient. But hopefully in that lesson, you know, you can see why it's important. All right, I think this thing is about two pounds. No, I am wrong. It is one pound and a half. One pound, eight ounces. Seems bigger than that, but... Anyway, the moral of today's story is make sure you're patient. Ooh, check out those black marks. Hold on. Let's get them back in the water. Actually, let me do an underwater release. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, this has been helpful. If it has been, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more like content like this, Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Have a good night, everybody.